with Hendon Hooker, Dudley Panthers, and soon to be with a college. Hendon making that big decision today. Tell us what's going into that uh, decision time and why you chose to go ahead and decide and tell the people today where you're going to be playing college football. I felt like it was a good time to go ahead and make my commitment because all the quarterback spots were getting, uh, were getting filled. So uh, I felt like it was a good time to announce today and um, go ahead and get it over with. And where would that leave you when it gets ready for summer workouts and things like that? You want to worry about any more college visits, all that's behind you. When you announce today, it's pretty much a done deal, right? Yes, sir. Dennis, what about thoughts for Mr. Hooker here? Yeah, Hooker, congratulations on this momentum occasion for you. You will follow in the footsteps of a legend, your dad. And uh, talk about some of the letters each day. How many letters do you think you've received from the time of your sophomore year to now? How many letters you would think you've received? Probably over 600. Wow, that's from D1 schools, Division two, from all, from the big names to the new names. Yes, sir. How does it feel to go home? Was, you, was it a regimen for you to go home and see who wrote you today? I mean, was it building you up? How, how, how's it begin to make you feel? Um, it, did, it did build me up. Uh, I used to go home and, um, and, and think, oh, wow, just a few years ago, I didn't even have one. So um, coming home to new designs every day of me, a, a new edit from a new school, was always exciting. Right now, Hooker, you got the letters, and now it's getting closer and closer. So a lot of those letters are irrelevant. So when you started to decide, what was some of the went into your decision to make you, hey, this school is better. Hey, man, I can, did you visualize yourself in, uh, in the D1, visualize yourself at this school, playing on Saturday? Let's talk about that. Um, the main thing was how comfortable am I. So um, I'm really make, making my decision on how comfortable I am with the coaching staff, um, the distance from home, or um, the, um, the the way the coaches are, you know, the uh, coaching style. So um, that was all in a, in a big span of uh, my decision. And, and last, last question for me. Um, how much in your decision did your family, your mom and your dad, I know your mom and dad been on for a long time, mm -hmm. how much were they involved in your decision? Are they just, I know your dad, are they just snapping up to you, or how much just, were they involved in your decision? Well, um, they, uh, they try to persuade me here and there, but, um, <laughs> you know, they want me to go to a &T. Right. Um, <laughs> Well, they, they played a big part in it. Um, they, they mainly wanted me to choose. So um, wherever I was comfortable, that's where they wanted me to go. What's the plan of attack now? I mean, do you look to enter early in January of next year? And where does this leave your, your basketball future now? I'm still thinking on if I should leave early or not. Um, I'm going to be at uh, the local college um, taking my college credits. So I want to finish with 30. 30 credit hours before I graduated. So. so you got 30 credit hours going into college when you get there, right? Yes, sir. That's good. That's good. That's like almost a full year out of the way. But you would like to get there early in January, I guess, and get with the team, maybe get some workouts in, get used to their system, and maybe be ready to play in the uh, college you choose their spring game next year. Yes, sir. Hopefully I get into um, one of these bowl games so I can uh, showcase my talent as The well. old Army All-American Bowl yeah. and the Marine Bowl, those type things. Yes, sir. What about uh, you look at basketball now? Does that leave basketball out of the picture this summer, too, or the basketball travel days over, at least for now? No, um, I think I think I'm still going to play basketball this summer. This is my last year. Might as well go ahead and ride it out and enjoy my time with my teammates. What's your schedule like right now? I know most of your uh, attention lately has been spent on making this big decision. And uh, with the family, with uh, your mentors and your friends and advisors, uh, all that goes into that decision. But what's your workout schedule been like lately, too, getting ready for the next step? Um, in the mornings before school, I'll go to the gym, get shots up with my brother. And then after school, um, lift weights and then throw with my teammates. And then on weekends, uh, work out with my AU team. So you're staying busy full time. Yes, sir. Uh, do you see yourself now as a college quarterback or as a high school quarterback? Because you got a lot on your plate right now. I see myself as a college quarterback. Mm -hmm. And do you see yourself as a college passing quarterback? Or do you think that run, I read somewhere about the, the run possibilities may be uh, for some, I mean, it was Marquise Williams said he's going to the pro rank. He's going to cut back on some of the running he does. He gets that next level. What about you going to the next level for your college game? Do you see yourself becoming more of a pure college quarterback, passing quarterback, or still including that run some? Uh, more as a pass, um, run if needed. So, if necessary, yes, right? Yes, Are you excited about today? I mean, it's been kind of fun. All this building up. Come 4 o'clock, you make that big decision. Oh, yes, sir. I'm really excited. And a uh, final question or so for you, what got into that final decision? And, again, what made you decide to go ahead and go here on, I think it's March 24, 2016, make that decision today and let the people know? Um, I felt like it was no better time than to um, 
into spring break with the commitment. And get all behind and enjoy your yes, spring sir. break. Do you take some time off during spring break, rest a little bit? Um, I think I might next weekend, uh, Friday, go to the beach. A little bit of relaxation then. Yes, sir. Hendon, always good to talk. Remember the first time we talked to you back when you were a freshman. It was a basketball uh, game. I think over Page one Friday night pulled you in there. We said we don't usually interview too many freshmen, but you were a little bit different than the rest. You stepped right in early, did a great job, and thanks for talking to us today. Congratulations no on your decision, Thank you. and look forward to following you in the future too. Yes, sir.